Ever wonder what your financial dreams are truly worth? How much do you need to live the life you have always imagined? Welcome back to SNYUN channel. In this video, we are decoding your dream and help you put a price tag on your dreams. Tony Robbins outlines five distinct levels of financial freedom in his book, Money Master the Game. These levels represent increasing degree of financial security and independence. First, Let's understand the definitions of each financial dream and we will break it down, the calculation for each and use a formula to determine the amount you need to achieve them without working for the rest of your life. Dream number one, financial security. This is the basic level where we can cover the five essential living expenses, housing, food, utilities, transportation and basic insurance costs. If you are unsure how much each of these costs, start tracking them one by one. You can use the Tony Robbins Money app to input your money costs for each category. For example, Mary spent $1,000 on room rental, $800 on food including eating out and some grocery shopping, $100 on utility, $200 on transportation, and $200 on basic insurance. The total monthly expense will be $2,300. The app will multiply this by 12 months to get the annual income requirement, which is $27,600. This is to cover the basic needs without working. So, assuming invest in a safe investment that generate 5% return, we will divide this amount by 5%, which gives us $552,000, which is the amount Mary needs for financial security to cover her basic needs without working for the rest of her life. Dream number two, financial vitality. Once you have saved for financial security, the next stage is to add some comfort and enjoyment to our life. Adding half of our current lifestyle expenses to the five basic needs. This includes spending on buying clothes, meaning shopping, dining and entertainment, and small indulgence like having vacation, gym membership, manicures or massages, you name it. So for example, Mary usually spend $100 on buying clothes every month. Half of it will be $50. She also spent $300 on dining and entertainment. Half of it will be just $150. And lastly, she spent $200 on some indulgence. Half of it will be $100. This total will add up $300 a month. And we will add this on top of the $2,300 that she need for financial security. And multiplied by 12 months, we will get $31,200 annually. So to cover this without working, Mary needs a total of $624,000 in investment, assuming she putting this into a safe investment that generates 5% investment return. Dream number three, financial independence. At this level, your investment generates enough income to cover your current lifestyle without discount, like how we calculate for the financial vitality just now. So how much money you need to maintain your current lifestyle? So the only way to do this is to by tracking your expenses. For example, Mary actually spent additional 700 a month to maintain her current lifestyle. This will add to the monthly expenses to a total of $3,000. The app will automatically calculate this of to analyze by multiply by 12 months and we will get $36,000. And dividing by 5%, Mary will need $720,000 to achieve her financial independent dream, meaning she will need this principal amount. Dream number four, financial freedom, means beyond covering our current lifestyle, we can now cover it two or more significant luxuries and experiences that we want in the future, such as owning a bigger house or contribute more to the community or get a car. Here is how we can add to the financial freedom numbers. Let's say Mary would like to have a bigger house 
so she will allocate $500 for the home budget, $1,500 for having a car, and additional $500 to travel more. This adds $2,500 to the financial independence amount. The total annual requirement now is $66,000, and we divide it by 5%. Mary will need $1.32 million to achieve her financial freedom dreams. Well, dream number five is absolute financial freedom. This is the pinnacle where money is no longer a constraint. You can do what you want, pursue your desire and dreams without financial limitation. So for example, let's say we just double the amount we need for financial freedom by adding 5,000 additionals per month. This will add to the 36,000 that we need for financial independence and total to $96,000 per year. Dividing by 5%, Mary will need $1.96 million now to achieve her absolute financial freedom, meaning she can do more of the luxury thing without financial constraint. This is just an estimate to give us a clearer picture so that we have the guidance on how much we should save and put into the investment and assuming a conservative 5% growth in a safe investment vehicle, let's say in the S&P index fund, historically give us 7% annual return. Once we have identified the specific amount needed for each financial dream, we will understand how much we really need to invest to achieve our dreams. However, there are some key considerations that are not included in the calculation. Firstly is the inflation, which is a crucial factor to consider, as the cost of living has been increasing over time. To accurately calculate our future financial needs, in Singapore, for the last two years, inflation rate has increased significantly to 6.1% in 2022 and 4.5% in 2023. Although historically, we are always informed that the inflation rate has never exceeded 2% from 2014 up to 2021. So imagine if we only put our savings in the safe investment vehicle that generate 5% annual return. It seems that the investment return is barely to cover the inflation cost and we are not getting any closer in achieving the financial dreams. And the second exclusion from the calculation is the additional goals that we might have as we are growing. For example, having a family, aiming for a bigger house, planning education for ourselves or children. This will definitely need to add to the new categories to plan thoroughly as we wanted to achieve this. So do you have any final thoughts? Please comment below if you have any questions and share with us how you think about this. Calculating the cost of financial dreams might seem overwhelming, but it is a powerful tool and exercise. It provides clarity and direction to our financial planning journey. Remember, this is just a starting point. As our financial situation may change over time, we will need to regularly review and adjust the plan and checking out which investment is best to suit our risk appetite and needs. By taking control of your finances and making informed decisions, you are well on your way to achieve your financial dreams. Thank you for watching the video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more financial tips. See you in the next one and stay tuned.